Hello folks and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil. Blue Rings Battle from Middle Earth. <clears throat> We're getting right into it. Last episode, we defended Lothlorien and took down some more Isengard forces and gained and upgraded I, I, some of our Rohirrim. I will protect you. Don't let him escape! It's an ambush! So now, we're going to be taking down Amun Hin. Like I said before, we get to keep Gandalf because we kept him alive during the battle against the Velrog. This place was once great, but it's sad to see it destroyed by evil. Freaking love when Legolas uses that ability. Let's go save Legolas. We got to deal with some trolls. This should be fine. Also, I got a brand new keyboard thanks to a buddy of mine. He gave me his keyboard for free. I appreciate it. Because keyboards are expensive, so getting keyboards for free is nice. Especially when it's a nice razor keyblade. Keyblade. <laughs> keyboard. Absolutely love razor keyboards. Still almost called a keyblade yet again. War riders. They will not get past me. They'll be fine. They're not that hard to kill. Watch, even Sam can whoop their tails. Again, Aragorn's already level five. That's sweet. I'll probably start uploading this let's play tomorrow. Oh, hi, guys. We're here to go help out Aragorn. Check this out. Like I said before, guys, say Boromir is only a bonus. He can die here. But we're going to try and keep him alive. Sorry if I seem a little off today. I'm a little tired. I'm going to be going to bed as soon as we're done with this episode. But I wanted to film another one because I freaking love this game. And I've been in a, ma in a major Lord of the Rings Path of Alert style mood. And I can promise you now, even if we once we finish the campaign and stuff, we're still going to be doing a bunch of uh, matches and stuff like that just because I freaking love it so much. Alright, now that we've got everybody together, it's time to finish this level and take down the last of the Urukai. But now, we have quite a lot to deal with. I wish I knew what the, what the like, passive to turn on Gandalf, to make Gandalf basically 
use it as he sees fit. Is it P? They want my phone. Well, it doesn't look like they have the uh, answer, so that's fine. We'll we'll make do. So now the fellowship will break apart. While the fellowship searches for the hobbits, the flames of battle continue to engulf Rohan. So now we have Frodo and Sam who are on their way toward the Black Gate. They're gonna run into some issues on the way there. But we have Merry and Pippin with an army of Urukai moving toward Isengard. And we have Eric Gandalf, Aragon, Gimli, Legolas, and Boromir trying to chase down the fellowship, trying to chase down Merry and Pippin. Now we're going to be moving forward to try and get more command points from West Emnet. West Emnet, the greatest region of Rohan, where lie the largest cities and fortifications of the Riddermark. Should these cities fall, their people will become refugees. Destroy all Isengard forces. So cool thing about this map is I actually get to show you guys what the full-on castles look like. So this is what on certain levels Isen Gundor and uh, Rohan get. They get a full-on castle. Um, unfortunately, the Isengard and Mordor do not, uh, which kind of sucks for them and makes them kind of weak. Uh, and it puts them at a pretty big disadvantage. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. There's not, I will say, the hero <coughs> or the good uh, factions in this game are majorly, like, majorly outclassed the villain factions. Unfortunately. Like, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty noticeable. It, it's pretty bad. It, it's, it's a little ridiculous. Just how much hero fac or good factions completely dominate this game, <clears throat> and they still kind of do in the new ones in BFME two and three or two in the the remake, thanks to uh, Silverthorn Arrows with the elves. But it, it's not as bad. I mean, it's bad, but nowhere near on the same level that it is in this game. I mean, it's it's pretty atrocious, just how broken he, uh, the good factions are. Especially when you look at their heroes. I mean, the villains have, like, the Isengard, of course, has Saruman and Lurtz, which are decent at best. Like, Lurtz is probably on the same level as Legolas. And Saruman's like a weaker version of Gandalf. At least in my opinion he is. <coughs> wow, freaking Mordor, all they have is the goblins and the Witch King and two Nazgul and Fell Beast. Which on paper it sounds like it'd be really powerful. But in practice is 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Well, we have... Good thing we have freaking armor. I'm so glad we have armor. I'm so glad we have armor. Because if we didn't have armor, that would have hurt so much more. Oh my god, just kill them already. My gosh. Golly, this is when things start getting hard. Because our boys, our enemies actually start to get, um... Unfortunately, they start to get more than just regular pot. They get pikemen, which pikemen, of course, just completely, totally decimate our cavalry. Golly, that 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 was bad. <coughs> I'll build these. Good news is we are get, starting to get a damage boost and a combat experience boost. Which of course will give our L our horsemen more XP per kill, but unfortunately, it's not noticeable enough to warrant running into a bunch of pikemen like we did. That was a mistake. <coughs> and yes, they are going to get more powerful pikemen, or they are going to get. Like right now, they're not really going to be using a lot of forged weapons. Most of their weapons are going to be fair, are not going to be forged. But <clears throat> in due time, they will have forged weapons, and forged weapons, like you saw with the red pikes, are really powerful. The game definitely grows in difficulty. It starts off fairly. I mean, it starts off easy, but over time. <clears throat> is going to get far harder. I don't think they're at the level now where they're getting these outposts, at least not unless we take a while. If we take a while, they'll start getting these outposts. Yeah, they still haven't started doing that from what I can tell yet. Hi. And let's take them down. Excuse us real quick. We're going to go run around real quick. That's right. We got some that are level 4 now, which is good. <coughs> Heavy armor. Oh, yeah, I don't see the way. Hold on, let me do this. Health 260. Health 240, and they're level 3. Where's the level 2? Yeah. That's the difference. 260, 120. That's why we're so... Uh, bent on trying to make sure that we have... Uh, leveled up horsemen. Because the more powerful they are, the more health they have. And once they get, like, level 5, holy crap, they have a lot of health. <clears throat> down you go, down they go, and kill you. Yeah, we leveled up another one. Now let's go end this. Now that we've got a couple at level three, I think everyone's over level two now, or at least yeah, everybody should. Be, yeah, everyone's definitely over level two because everybody has banner banner carriers. That is also, by the way, that is for sure not Amir when it comes to voice actor. That is not him at all. And yes, I know it's sad that I can tell, but I can 100% tell that's not Amir. 
which means fine. Amir didn't have a lot of lines. The only time he really spoke a lot, if I remember correctly, is in Resident King Lord of the Rings Two Towers. If I can get the name right, that's one of my favorite movies ever. Like my favorite movie series ever. And I can't remember the name of the movies. It shows how much of Resident Evil Kingdom Hearts I've been playing. I've been playing so much. So I, I feel like it's very obvious. Or it's very easy to, to see that I, I, I'm... Like, my brain is still on that. To be fair, we're hopefully going to be finishing Dream Drop Distance tomorrow. I believe we will, but we'll see. It just depends. And there we go. I think everybody's over level 3 now. We might have like one or two level twos. I don't know how long this episode is. We might do one more. Depends. Because they shouldn't be at Fangorn yet. Oh, we'll do one more. We'll go to East Edmund real quick. <laughs> but then after that, we have to get off. East Edmund. Rolling grassland, where the hardiest of Rohan's men live a nomadic life. They will fight to the death for their homeland. Destroy all Isengard forces. Set forth. And don't worry, we'll know when we're about to go to Helm's Deep because we'll have Gandalf with us. Let us hunt we gotta kill war riders here. Cool. Yeah. Is that all um, the only mission we have? Rank up Airman one, one level. Nope, we gotta level him up again, which is completely fine. Keep these lands safe. Go in haste. Go in haste. Go in haste. We'll have to run into more more uh, pikemen here. Go in haste. Go in haste. Follow my lead. Let's go take out these war riders that were chilling over here. Okay, they tipped. They're here somewhere. There's a base, a camp. Hi. I'll admit, you guys are pretty manly to be taking on a bunch of Rokurin like this. <coughs> Takes guts. Considering that, like, we takes ride. a lot of guts. Keep these Cause we like totally ride. outnumber you guys a thousand to one right now. I'd like to level up our big, our boy Amir at least once. Personally, six hundred. I love my new keyboard. I just do. I think it looks dope. Keep these lands safe. Hey, it's the enemy. Hey. They're here. Yeah. 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 The amount of XP we get just running them freaking over. That freaking that that that, that freaking bonus is freaking one doing wonders. We're at health of fourteen hundred. Yeah. We'll be able to level up. Oh, that, that's, that's not going to be good. That's, that's not going to be good. See, a good... Oh my gosh, that was bad. Oh, 
All we really need to do is get away from the freaking spearmen. We can kill these guys. Follow my lead. Our lands are under siege. No, it's the Ain't gonna lie, them freaking spearmen, man. They need to go on somewhere. So much damage, man. Alright. <coughs> Good thing we got freaking an XP boost, though, from what's his face, because now. Can I please just... Can I just... 2800, okay. Trying to check, I just want to see how much freaking hell, I mean how much... We got freaking... Level 5 overall here and now, which is great. Keep these lands safe. We ride. The big reason why I'm waiting to de to get Set more we ride. um horsemen, because I could make a bunch more right now, is because I want to be able to get, like I said before with the last patch you made, I want to be able to get shields with them. Alright, now we just destroy the evil camps. Normally when it says evil, all the evil camps, it's because Isengard and Mordor are here, but this time it's just, they just only say, they say both. I hasn't got Mordor's not here. There will be times like like we'll probably leave at least one area open for it, where the fellow like later on after the battle of Helm's Deep, even after the battle of Minas Tirith, uh, we'll be able to fight Isengard still because there'll still be remnants of them around. <clears throat> Some more orcs. Some more orcs. Must be nice being level five AM here. And take down the last one, and that should do it. Because I think they're still not level where they'll start getting side outposts and stuff. Nope, they're not. We don't have any battalions on level 5 right now, which is sweet. The captured hobbits are in grave danger, right. many miles from friends. Their only hope lies with the brave warriors of Rohan. Alright, in the next level, we will be trying to save Merry and Pippin. So I want to thank anyone... Oh, wrong button. I want to thank anyone who watches and everyone who watches. As always, I'm Steel, and I am out. <laughs>